All right, we just dropped Cassidy off at daycare and we are going to go out one more time looking around and uh, then head to the scrapyard 6,000 times. So let's get to it. There's a bunch of wires in here. I'll get some wires. A couple fans. This is metal, I'll take. These are plastic. I'll take you. Thank you. And that's plastic too. I got some bread bed frames that are attached to wood. We got a radiator. some chairs I'll take them three of them there's a fan somewhere I took the motor okay the weather does not look nice and is drizzling Plus I want to go to the scrapyard 6,000 times, so that ain't good. Another chair. Chair's metal. All right, got some old baseboards. A little golf thing. getting filled there's only one or two more streets so that's why I'm taking all this stuff it's not heavy but every ounce counts all right this looked like a bucket of cords so let's go look and it is well not a whole bucket but better than nothing oh uh, yeah out of nowhere Started raining. Nice. Nice. All right, this is what we got. Not a hell of a lot, but hey, stuff's better than nothing. I got like four chairs, fan, a radiator. Does it have copper in the middle? Nah, just aluminum. And all these baseboards. And then I have to do all of this. This is definitely the most scrap I ever had at my house <laughs> at one time. <laughs> uh, but let's get everything loaded and get to the scrapyard. Okay, trip one. Got the bed of my truck filled up. And only a couple things on top. It was from me. Everything else, this is from Jamie. So let's go. All right, four ways on. Not a good thing. It means I'm parked on the road. There's the actual truck that takes the scrap out and I am one, two, three, four, five. I'm the sixth car. So 9.32, let's see how long I gotta wait. 9.45, next person in line.
first trip, I weighed 1,480 pounds. It's $200 a gross ton still. I got $131.25. Almost 1,500 pounds. That's the most I ever put in this trailer and truck, I think. Usually it's about 1,000. This was 1,500, but 131 bucks, first trip, not bad. All right, gotta load the second load. I wish I could do this in real life. Okay, we got one, two, three refrigerators, two washers or a dryer, whatever that is, and a stove. And in the back of the truck, lawnmower, snowblower, microwave, and some other miscellaneous things. So, second trip. All right, I'm coming in now, and I'm the third person in line. 6,400. 6,000, yeah. 50 is sweet. Look at this thing. American Ford rims. Damn. All right, second trip, I weighed 1,180 pounds for a total of $105.36. Not bad. All right, pile dwindling down a little, but we have a lot more to do. So let's get this loaded. Okay, load number three. Where the truck filled up. Trailer filled up. Some of the stuff's pretty heavy. So yeah, let's go see how much this one is. Place is getting thin. Maybe one, one or two, probably just one. I got three grills. The grills will be hard fitting in, but we'll get this. Mm, let's see. I'm the second person in line. Not bad. And that guy just has batteries, so he's not even going in the yard. No one in the yard. Sweet. Trip number three, I weighed 1,420 pounds. Still $200 a gross ton. So a total of $126.79. So not a bad day. So I at least have one more trip. I think I can fit everything in my trailer for this trip. And then I'll still have like aluminum and whatnot, but 
I don't know if I'll have time to do that today. It's already 1.30 and I've been going out since nine. So it's been a while. All right, time for the third load. I got three grills, a washer, this cabinet, uh, that table saw, and this chair. Oh, it's gonna be cutting it close because that is heavy as hell. All right, I got some air conditioners and racks in the back. That's all I can really fit. I only got two grills, that barber chair or whatever, wheelbarrow, that washer. So I have to do one more trip of the table saw, this big bench, this grill, and that seat. And then I can bring this heavy metal as well. We'll see. But I'll only be able to bring this load today because the scrapyard will be closing. And then we'll do that next load tomorrow and then we'll see the total that we made. I can fit some of that right here. And there's a vacuum up here with a cord. Like that. Somebody already took the other vacuum. What's in here? Not bad. I still didn't get to go to the junkyard. I got more room back here. Right down the road, there's some stuff. I'm trying to get my daughter from daycare, but finding too much stuff. All right, I didn't have time to go to the scrapyard. I got everything ready. I had a chiropractor appointment. And by the time I went there and back to the scrapyard, I would have been like at least seventh, eighth in line. And I had to go pick up Cassidy from daycare. So I just went and picked her up from daycare and I'll go uh, tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, no line. Cut in front of this guy. Look at that. Oh, that sweet truck's here again. 6,340. So I'm usually around 5,200, 5,300. So maybe a thousand pounds. Yeah, 5,220, so I weighed 1,100 pounds, almost. All right, this is trip number four. I weighed 1,100 pounds for a total of $98.21. Not bad. The only thing we have left, grill, chair, this really thin cabinet. This is heavy. Uh, metal in here, metal in there, metal in there. And we got that heavy metal, which I'm not going to take today. I might take the aluminum. And I'll take the stainless steel another day, too. So, let's get this packed up. All cleaned. Except a couple things there. But, this is the last load. All right here. have all the small things in these buckets. And I filled up the back. That's all aluminum. So let's see how much we get. All right, we would have been first in line, but I'm behind this guy. This guy has two cars, so he goes in a different lane for like the crane could take the cars off. So hopefully there's not many people in here. I could scoot right in there. Okay, I dumped all the metal. 
I went on the scale. Now I'm gonna go back on the scale to weigh this aluminum. And then I'll empty all the aluminum and we'll see how much money we got. The first time I went on with the tin, I weighed 580 pounds for a total of $51.79. And then I went on with 80 pounds of clean aluminum. That's 62 cents a pound. I got $49.60. So a total of uh, $101 and some cents. So not bad at all. Let's go home and count everything up. All right, real quick, I'm bringing some e-scrap. I have complete laptops, laptops taken apart. I have these couple computers that I just didn't really feel like taking apart. I got like one, two, three, four of these buckets of heat sinks. I got a bucket of uh, gold fingers, power supplies, low grade board, uh, large socket motherboards, small socket motherboards. So not that much, so let's see what we get. I really didn't think I had that much money and stuff. I had two tickets, uh, one for $171 and the other one for $149. So I just made $320 with just the stuff that was in the bed of my truck. And it was just like stuff I had in my garage, like I just wanna clean because I wanna redo that one room and paint it. Pretty awesome. I wish I'd tape more if I knew it was that much. I thought I was gonna get like, you know, a hundred and some bucks, but not 320. Gold is up, so. All right, in the house, got all the money, but I have all the change in my car, so let's just add it up here. First run, 131.25. Second run, plus 105.36, plus. Third run, 126.79, plus. Fourth run, $98.21, plus. Then you got two fifth runs. This one was $51.79. And then you have to add the aluminum, which was $49.60. So I made a total of $563. So if you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Click the links below to get some Dumpster Markers merch or Weldar projects I have on my Etsy store. Thanks for watching. Have a scrapping good night.